Eob, Job chapter 27. And Eob again took up his discourse and said, As El lives, who has turned aside my right ruling, and the Almighty, who has made my life bitter, as long as my breath is in me, and the spirit of Eloah in my nostrils, my lips do not speak unrighteousness, nor my tongue utter deceit. Far be it from me that I grant that you are right. Until I die, I would not turn aside my integrity from me. My righteousness I hold fast, and I do not let it go. My heart does not reproach me as long as I live. Let my enemy be like the wrongdoer, and he who rises up against me like the unrighteous. For what is the expectancy of the defiled one when he cuts off, when he does cut off, when Eloah takes away his life? Would El hear his cry when distress comes upon him? Would he delight himself in the Almighty, call on Eloah at all times? Let me teach you by the hand of El that which is with the Almighty I do not hide. See, all of you have seen it. Why then are you altogether in vain? This is the portion of a wrong man with El, and the inheritance of cruel ones which they receive from the Almighty. If his children are increased, it is for the sword, and his offspring shall not have enough to eat. Those who remain of him are buried in death, and their widows do not sleep, weep. Though he heaps up silver like dust and lays up garments like clay, he lays up, but the righteous puts it on, and the innocent divides the silver. He built his house like a moth, like a booth which a watchman made. He lies down, a rich man, but he is not gathered. When he opens his eyes, it is no more. Alarms overtake him like a flood. A storm wind shall steal him away in the night. The east wind takes him away, and he is gone, for it sweeps him from his place, and it hurls itself against him and does not spare. He swiftly flees from its power. It clasps his hands at him, and it hisses him out of his place.